Hello there, Ray here, and welcome back to the Protec SMP server, the longest running vanilla survival server. We are getting very close to 150,000 days on the server. That's more than even 2B2T, which isn't technically vanilla anymore. And what do you guys think we should do for breaking the world record of 150,000 days on a vanilla server? Tell me that down in the comments. But last time, guys, we were placing in 100,000 blocks of glass over at the coal perimeter. Today, we're going to be doing a wide range of things, including trying to capture Gordy and putting him into a display case. You guys don't know who Gordy is? He's that little avatar guy they see on my YouTube channel. And we're going to be doing some stuff with other members on the server. If you guys are new to the series, make sure to go ahead and check out the playlist down below. Let's go ahead and get started. We gotta go over to the nether dimension. So first off, we have all these withers here. This is our automatic giant mushroom farm. It has nine withers in it. And I did ask you guys quite a while ago uh, what names we should give these guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get some name tags and name them all based off of your suggestions. So I wanna go ahead and name all those withers over there. I actually asked uh, the viewers what they want to name those withers and people gave different names in my comments. And I took some of the cooler names and there's actually nine withers so actually got to use quite a few different names what is that symbol one <laughs> i don't know what that symbol is but he had it in his name so we're gonna use it smoosh room <laughs> smoosh room bowser earth star they're all like mushroom type names wish moon do i need one now last one actually doesn't go to the wither it goes to the chicken which is on top his name is crispy <laughs> because uh yeah he's very capable of getting burnt to crisp so let's go put all those name tags on these guys i actually forgot to name them for quite a while and um Zerex went in here and named them with all these i believe they're like norwegian names I think they're Norwegian gods or something. Human said something like that. So let's name the chicken first. Chicken's crispy. So I don't want to lose the block. He should be able to escape. So he is crispy. Now time to name all the other guys. <laughs> I'll probably go underneath to their feet rather than try and name their heads. It's kind of cramped in there. I think there's a hole to get in there right here. Norwegian mythology. Okay, that's what they are named after. And I think I can enter over here where the minecarts go through. Yes, I can. So let's start naming these guys one at a time. So they got Mush Shredder, because he shreds mushrooms. Wish Moon, I think that's a type of mushroom. Mush Obliterator, <laughs> obliterate mushrooms. Earth Star. Probably a type of mushroom. Uh, what's that one? Goom Goombaz? Probably another name for mushroom. We got Shmush Room. <laughs> it's Mush's Mushrooms. Destroyer of Mushrooms. Bowser. And Truffle Hog. Truffle Hogs find mushrooms, I guess. So we got them all named. Got the new names there. Some of them will show up. I guess most with their name. Well, the most wither uh, boss bars that can show up is six, so even though there's nine, only six of them show up. There you go. This is a uh, really nice farm. It's a mushroom farm. Place in mushrooms, and then it bones meals them, and then it um, grows. I think it's also automatic too, so you can just let the mushrooms grow up there by themselves, and then once they do, then you can bone mill it. Otherwise, I think you can hop in here like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can place mushrooms like this. But to leave it, I guess you get stuck in here as so you have to go back out this way. Pretty cool. A lot of bedrock uh, had to be broken to make that work. Let's see if I can make this work here. Shroom. Nice. Much, much better. Got some mushroom themed names. I should actually get around to building the other mushroom farm that we designed. So as you guys know, I'm not very organized with shulker boxes, but I try to be. And Camp Nut went ahead and he kind of did it like his own shulker boxes. Like his own uh, personal ender chest. So this would be like my ender chest if I open it up. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that. They're that numbered. Awesome. They're named and even personalized with my name afterwards. That's crazy. So do you want to kind of go through the list? I guess we can put them all out on the ground and look at them. Okay, so these are all 27 shulker boxes. Yes. 
Um, this first one is completely empty because okay, I nice. wanted you to do your own. Oh, okay, but so that's tools. An example of mine. It's not in good shape right now. So you got There's flint steel. Excess. You got uh, more ender chest. Beacons are yeah. nice. Yeah, it's kind of a um, anvils. That's pretty handy to yeah. repair stuff. You got your shovel. You got two shovels. So one's with fortune. So you got yeah. lapis for repairing stuff, like enchanting. You yeah. also got extra silk touch pick, I'm guessing. Yeah. Inner pearls. I have a bunch of them. Another one yeah. and some extra stuff. You yeah. probably have a bow with you and other stuff on you. Yes. That's really nice. I think I would do something very similar. Maybe just put an extra set of armor in there. So the second one is the orange second. one. It's called food, food and, pearls. and pearls. Oh, nice. There's also some arrows in there. Um, That's. I actually like using spectral arrows sometimes. It's kind of fun. So you yeah. have steak in here, which is really good because we got a lot of that. We also got pearls, of course, from farms. Valuables. Ooh. You can put whatever, like, I'm thinking more like gold blocks and mm -hmm. like lapis blocks and such. Um, because you do have a shulker box behind you, this pink one here. Okay. It'll have rare items. Oh, rare. So, like, so I know you love collecting your rares, <laughs> so I, I put this in here for I you. I do love rares. The next one is all of your lighting needs. Okay, so it's yellow, makes so, sense. Lots of yep. lights. So, every single light source that I could think of at the time. That is a lot. Is Next one's redstone. redstone number one. I I just kind of stole one of the redstone boxes at the Budwitch perimeter. Looks good. Yeah, but, yeah. it has most of the stuff. That's kind of why it's there. Yeah. And then this next one here is for you to do whatever, and you can organize these the way you want. Okay, them. so this one I'll probably do maybe like a couple stacks of maybe observers and then pistons and that kind of stuff because yep. sometimes you go through more than just one stack of each. Okay, if you open this one right here, stone. these are some basic building blocks as well. It's not just plain stone. Okay, so you would like here. put this, when you come to like a building project, you would uh, put your color pellets in here and then come to this. Well, actually, for me, I normally use the backpacks for that, but oh, okay. this is like, these are like my projects. So this is more like so. for just testing colors? Yeah, to have Small sample size? Yep. Thing is, as Minecraft goes along, there is more and more um, color palettes, right? So it's harder yeah. to keep them all in hand. The next one is all the terracottas. Wow. Um, <laughs> yep. Number this 10? This one was the miscellaneous thing that I got from the system. Nice. So, this is just the custom stuff. shulker box filler. It's an automatic system that automatically fills shulker boxes with all these yeah. items. And it's a wide range of them just to give people a bunch of different selections as a lot of these blocks have unique um, kind of attributes. yeah attributes. The next one's nice and simple. It's just bones. Bones. These bones are very useful in certain conditions. They are. Um, you can make building blocks out of them now, which look really nice if you use them right. The next one is the dirt, grass, and I don't know why I put gravel in there. Guess um, to make coarse dirt, maybe? Dirt. Yeah, I think you're maybe. probably thinking of coarse yeah. dirt. That's yeah. pretty good. Yep, yeah. you have coarse dirt in there as well. I don't think I'm I've sure. ever had like a shulker box all to itself just for coarse dirt. So, okay. what do you got next, Camp? The next one is all the plants and different aesthetic kind of things, like bushes and... Oh wow, that was like um, a lot. Every... I didn't even know there was that many in yep. the game. There's a lot more than that. I couldn't fit them all in here. These next two are the wood types, the six wood types. They're all the logs. Oh, I don't think I've ever had all the logs in one spot. <laughs> well, now you have all of them. Huh, I, I kind the of forgot there were six it, types of them. The next one is lots of iron. Iron? <laughs> you probably don't need that much, but if you want to make something big out of iron, there you go. You can also craft pretty much everything. Sometimes so. you feel like building stuff. You don't know what material to use to build, so you go back to your iron blocks. Yep. The next um, is all of the dyes. We're pretty limited on what we have at the moment. Hmm. So yeah, we definitely need to finish off the, the die square. And then the next one, um, all of the wool types. Oh, and then I added a bunch okay. of default white wool, so you can dye it yourself. That's nice. If you need extra. And then this one is the concrete. I did not put um, the concrete powder. And then the nether blocks. I kind of threw a bit of everything in there. I'm hoping you won't use nether rack to build with, but I threw it in there just in case you need it. You don't like nether rack? 
It's like the ugliest <laughs> block in the nether. All the other ones actually look kind of nice. I really do like the red brick and the nether wart block. And then you have all of your glass types. Um, I had to craft a bunch of this stuff too. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. And then you have all the ice. You will be adding blue ice eventually. Oh yeah, we don't got blue ice in this version. And then okay, you've got pink. your rares. So any of your rare items can just be thrown in there. So That's like good. I even said like the maps and stuff that we have in the server, I oh. would throw them in there. You know what? I didn't I ever also, think about that. I also throw uh, like Kika's book in there. I have one of Kika's books. Oh, is um, so, wait, which which book is it? Is it the clay one? He was it? I think so. And I think Animals there's another one. Clay one too. Yeah. Then this next one is full of fireworks. Okay, so red is fireworks. Yeah. And then yeah, that's a lot of fireworks. That's really that's really good because you go through quite a few of them. Yeah, I actually have two in mine, but the the rest of these are all empty, so okay. you can put projects into them. These That's are the, the backpacks, so you can, um, yeah. and that is all 27 of them. That's pretty darn crazy. Let me grab my shulker, or grab my pickaxe. Guys, we're going to be so organized now. Look at that. Yeah. Got our whole inner chest full. Camp. I'm just going to. Camp nut, he's a savior. I'm going to get crazy. craft a ton of ender chests. I can actually grab you a stack of ender chests if you want. Now we're going to have to actually uh, use this and build some cool aesthetic things yes. as uh, Camp Nut is well known for building really cool buildings and structures. Yeah. So this is Camp Nut's place. Well, it's actually not just mine. It's all of our places. This is going to be a big harbor here. If you actually want to fly, you can show it off a little bit. Um, so this is basically a big, um, big kind of ocean, but... It, kind of like a bay area? Yeah, a bay. It's kind of surrounded on both sides. Yep. I'm planning on terraforming it a lot. And Underneath the water? It. I'm going to do all of that, yeah. I think I'm going to map it out and then put, like, chunked out areas and say, this is going to be, like, the slum area. So Camp Nut and I are going to try to design a simple boat aligner for these diagonal ones. As it's pretty annoying to get to that 45 degrees. I had the idea to maybe have an example boat, so this boat would be an example. It's already pre-aligned to uh, 45 degrees, so if I click on it and don't move my cursor, it was exactly at 45 degrees. Kind of hard to show, my mouse is extremely sensitive. Let's see if I hold it still. Yeah, it's right at 45 degrees. And we'll use this boat, once you're inside of it, to place another boat, which will keep it so that it will make it also 45 degrees. So I think it would be good if we kind of put it down on the floor a little bit, indent it, and then we could, um, that way people can't run away with this boat. <laughs> I think this will work pretty good. Click into the boat, and then click on there. Whoa! <laughs> it bounced off the view. Or, it, no, it bounced I think it bounced off the boat. <laughs> yeah. And then chase down your boat, guys. That's the next, uh, next step is to chase down your boat. Ride your boat. Yay! <laughs> if anybody will ever understand that, who knows? Click on the boat. If people click like right here, they're not gonna be able to do it. You gotta click on the far side of the boat and then place your boat and then click into your boat. And then now you're perfectly lined. That was awesome. Now, as you guys know, we're trying to capture every mob in the game of Minecraft here over at the Protex Zoo. And all our progress is being kept track of on a couple different documents. Let's check out the one that has to do with the mobs that we're collecting here. Here's the document where we keep track of every mob in the game of Minecraft and if we have captured it yet or not. We got them categorized here, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and mythical. Mythical being ones that haven't been added into the game yet. All the ones that are in green are done already. And we're currently sitting at about 17% with 13 of the 76 captured so far. So make sure if you haven't already to go ahead and claim your mob before it gets taken because there is a limited number of these guys. Today we're going to be working on the chicken display by activation. He filled out all the slots so we're able to actually build it up. He has the name for it, he has the display case as an image, and he also has a short story explaining why the mob and display case go together. And you can find a link to this document in the description. So let's head on over to the Protex Zoo area and get this display built up. This is the Project Zoo. We have a lot of display cases built up so far. When this place is finished, it's going to just be overflowing with display cases, which I'm really excited to see. 
but we're looking kind of for an open area out in the water to so kind of have this floating castle out there. This area looks good. We're going to go ahead and start building in the base of it. It is a castle, so it consists of a lot of stone. And we have a little bit kind of like a cottage inside of a castle. We have some greenery around the outside. And of course, we're going to have the cottage in the inside. And extra red as well as Mofo K join during the build of this. Castle's looking already much better. We got the walls up. Mofo is putting in the grass. Also got the little walkway to there's gonna be a little cottage in the center. So let's work on that next. And just like that guys, we finished the roof of the little cottage inside. Now we'll go inside and do the interior, looking much better. Okay, so we're gonna name the name tag. This is what we're gonna name the mob, Fantastic. Let's go ahead and put it on the chicken. So the story behind Fantastic is that he was a lonely chicken we end up becoming the most famous chicken of them all. Um, become really popular in the world and this is why he's here on his royal throne. And he has all his like friends that want to be part of his coolness hanging around him. They don't let him get too close because this is his domain. So now we'll go ahead and clean this up and then we will uh, mark this chicken off of our document. The display turned out really nice. You can see here is the interior. And the very center we got the royal throne for the bow down to King Fantastic. There he is. There's all his little minions on the side. He's even a rich one. He got some beacon in there. This display is done and we're actually going to build up another display for a mob on the mythical list. Meaning a mob that hasn't been added into the game yet. This is actually Gordy. He's a little avatar guy that you see for my channel. He's a pumpkin headed guy with the orange dyed leather armor. His name is Gordy and he's kind of a mischievous troublemaker. Extra made a lovely display for him so we'll go ahead and build it up next. So right here we kind of have this weird piece of the island that sticks out this here and we're gonna put the charge creeper hanging from underneath but Extra chose his mob which is Gordy. It's a mythical mob meaning that Hasn't been added to the game, but Gordy is a funny character on the server, uh, which we can replicate using armor stands. So think about putting him up here. It's a kind of a big display. It's a big statue of Gordy. Maybe he has both his feet here on this thing and standing up, and he's holding a TNT and a redstone block, like massive ones. So it should be pretty cool. We got the legs done, we got an arm, uh, we also got his chest piece done, and I'm working on the TNT. So we're holding TNT in this hand and then the redstone block in that hand. So I got work on the head as well, so we'll continue to work on that. So we finished the TNT block, looks really good. Underneath it, now we're working on the redstone block. We finished a redstone block. They both look really good. And next up, let's hook up the arm to the redstone block. And then we'll have to do the head. So we got the other arm done. Now we are working on the head, which is a massive jack o' lantern face. This is a lot of terracotta and acacia wood. the head so it looks really nice. We have to do a little bit underneath of like the neck part but other than that we're um, really close. So we finished the build. We just got a couple of shulker boxes sitting on the shoulder. Uh, next thing we have to do is get Gordy and put him into the display case. He goes right in here. He has a nice little um, kind of hidey hole and display in there. So we'll have to grab Gordy next and put him in there. We got the throne for Gordy right here. And then we'll put TNT here and here. And then um, Mofo is currently going 
to grab Gordy. So let's see if we can get the TNT as well as Gordy. <laughs> okay, so we got the TNT in. We got the maps of our TNT. And now we put in the Gordy. Humongous Gordy, which is avatar of my uh, YouTube channel. Everywhere else as well. Got TNT, redstone block. And inside of the TNT is Gordy. It's right there. Very nice. So one more display done. Very cool. Okay, ever closer to collecting every mob in the game of Minecraft. Over here on the document, let's go ahead and check off the chicken. So that one's complete. And that should highlight that one green. Yep. And Gordy is way down here in Mythical. Go ahead and check it as well. You see some other mythical ones like giants, zombie horses, killer rabbit, illusioner, massive slime, the piggin, herbrine. These are all things that are mythical and have been added into the actual survival game yet. Now if you look at the totals, we're currently 15 out of the 76 and we're really close to 20%. That is crazy. It means we're about one fifth of the way to completing all the display cases. And there is a large majority of these mobs that are in newer versions. We can't even get them yet. It feels really nice to get closer and closer to reaching 100%. If you guys would like to participate in this, all the information how you get your very own mobs onto the server is explained in this document. We got the withers named. We became a lot more organized with our shulker boxes. We checked out some of the other members projects and did some maintenance around spawn. Then we ended it all off by building a display case for the chicken as well as Gordy. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed playing in survival, especially on the project server where we never have to worry about the world resetting. But that's it for today guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.